हेलो रिवान एंड वेलकम टू न्यू वीडियो एंड अनदर न्यू रिव्यू नाउ दिस इज नॉट एन ऑर्डिनरी रिव्यू आई मेड अ स्पेशल रिव्यू येस्टरडे अबाउट द बाइनेंस बी एस सी पैड लॉन्च पैड बेसिकली सिमिलरली आई एम मेकिंग अनादर मच यू नो फेमस एंड वेल नोन लॉन्च पैड which is binance yes so today i'm going to talk about the binance launch pad how do you participate in a io on a launch pad and i'm going to run through it step by step so you can understand the same now before i can proceed i would request you to kindly subscribe to my youtube channel if you have not done yet and please do not forget to press the bell icon besides that you are going to find two links the whatsapp and the telegram group make sure you join either of the two or both so that you can get instant alerts whenever a new video whenever a new earning opportunity is released and uh, the most important thing is the disclaimer please understand i am not a financial advisor i am just sharing my experiences with you make sure uh, please make sure that you do your own research because you alone are responsible for your profits and losses before you make any investments now make sure that you are along with me till the end of the video because i am going to explain to you you know with the practical this thing i am going to show you the live example how i took part in the io basically and uh, uh, probably i am going to another make another new video following this one wherein i am going to explain in an event you miss out an io or you miss out a whitelist opportunity how you can still make the most of it and still earn a very decent amount of money so i'm going to make that video separately so that you know it uh, the video doesn't become too long and becomes too narrative so on this note uh, let's move ahead and understand how to go about this idio now the first thing uh, to understand whenever you want to participate in idio ico io basically is uh, that you need to be aware now how do you get this awareness one is you know you follow the social media channels of you know each and every individual uh, exchange or each and every individual coin or uh, blah 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 or the shortest possible way is you subscribe uh, to channels like mine or someone similar who's giving similar information so that you don't need to get information from multiple sources you get one point information like you can see over here on the 30th march uh, before that i'll go over here uh, there is binance has its own announcements so you can see under announcement on 30th march basically there was an announcement regarding the toko crypto sale this is a io basically io is when it hits the exchange initial exchange offering uh, some people might be even calling it a ido uh, which is there and uh, you can see that on the same day i had made a video that you can see a 30th march uh, the announcement was there on Bin uh, regarding binance that the toko crypto sale would be there on the binance launch pad and the same day i made a video so all those who are subscribed who are following me on youtube or into my telegram channel have got instant update regarding the same so as i mentioned one way would have been you know you come every day log in into binance announcements and check it or uh, you get updates on my uh, video uh, whatsapp telegram or the youtube now see here that uh, when this uh, update had come up i had explained a made a video about toko crypto and how to go about the uh, this thing a brief uh, intro not the detail because i myself had not participated in any uh, binance based uh, launch this was my first experience today which i have had and i am sharing across to you how it goes step by step now i won't run through the video again i am now going to come to the announcement 
so you see uh, when the announcement was made wherein the details are there how basically that thing on uh, proceeds basically so you see it mentions that binance would record user bnb balances for 7 days so from 31st march 30th was the announcement so 30th march to 7th april which is today uh, bnb would be taking screenshots of your balance and uh, using a daily average bnb balance calculation your tokens would be allocated so just like i had made a video of bsc pad uh, review uh, if you have not seen that you can, i would request you to kindly see that so you understand how uh, bsc pad allocation and ido review works ideas work now here what you need to do there you need to hold uh, bsc pad here you need to hold bnb over here so here the holding period was 7 day and uh, there would be snapshots taken every hour for 7 day and your average bnb holding would be calculated based on which your allocation would be done so these are the token uh, details uh, the token name is toko crypto now for those who don't know this uh, toko crypto is a indonesian uh, crypto exchange basically and uh, all the token economics regarding the hard cap the token supply etc everything was given and you can see over here that the public sale token price is 10 cents so this price in bnb would be determined prior to subscription i'm going to explain to you what this subscription format of bn binance is basically <coughs> excuse me so basically these are the steps the preparation period the preparation period is nothing but uh, if you see the dates like from 31st to 7th so during this period user bnb balances will be calculated in hourly snapshots for each day over a 7 day period and the final average daily bnb balance over the 7 days will be determined and based on the maximum amount of bnb that you commit later what basically this means is that supposing an announcement happens that an x token is going to be listed similarly the preparation period would be mentioned so what you need to do is you need to try and hold the maximum amount of bnb what you can in your spot wallet so the snapshots are taken over there now make sure that you know you don't disturb this for your trading activities you leave this aside because if at all you remove some bnb you sell some bnb your average would reduce now once that is done next is the subscription period so during the subscription period basically you can see for a 4 hour period a subscription period would be open and uh, users must sign a token purchase agreement at the same time prior to committing their bnb so when this subscription period opens that means once the snapshot is done and uh, your average uh, bnb is determined you need to commit the amount of bnb which you are ready to purchase once you commit your bnb will be locked that means you cannot use this bnb transfer withdraw or do anything until the calculation period happens so based on the calculation period that means once you have committed let's say you have committed one bnb which i did then during uh, for the next uh, year it was a short period and i'll explain uh, in the live details also over there during this period the subscription closes that means no more people can subscribe to this particular token and uh, your amount of bnb you have committed and they have your own set of calculations based on the total number of token supply and the number of users you have committed and a final token distribution would happen so once your to uh, token distribution happens which is the final token distribution what's going to happen is that the amount of bnb which is required and you allocated would be deducted from your uh, the locked bnb which is there and the tokens as well as your balance bnb would be transferred to your spot wallet so let me go and show you that this is how basically the thing works there are four steps 1 2 3 4 let me go and show you how it went out today today was the launch of toko crypto that is the 7th so you can see this was the details 
and uh, the sale price one TKO was 0.02463 BNB around 10 cents. So if you see subscription timeline, so uh, BNB holding calculation period was from 31st March till 7th, which is today, which is this thing what I had explained over here. That means for the last seven days, Binance was taking snapshots of each and every user's account for a period of seven days. Now, you can see the subscription and the calculation period closed this time than UTC, uh, which is equivalent to GMT for uh, Indian users. You just need to add five and a half hours over there to the UTC time. So 530 uh, this uh, subscription with the sorry, the holding calculation period got over post that the subscription period was there, which was for four hours. That means the second part which I explained over here, that means a countdown timer would uh, get over over here and the subscription period would open. Now you can see from 5.30 to 9.30, you have four hours to commit the amount of BNB you want to. So that this amount, you cannot uh, uh, add over here at the last moment and say, I want to uh, commit 100 BNB. No, you can't. You can only commit based on the average which was lying in your spot wallet for the last seven days and it will show here before you can commit over here. So once this is done, once the four hours is done and you have committed, this is the second step. The third step is the calculation period. Now here you don't do anything. You just need to wait over here. So you can see after the four hours from an, uh, another uh, gap of around uh, another four hours your allotted uh, tokens would be displayed. I'm going to show you how much I was allotted to. Okay. So once that is done, which is the third step over here, the details over here, the calculation period, finally is the allocation. So once the number of tokens are allocated, the tokens would be sent to your spot wallet and your BNB also balance which is left would be sent to your spot wallet. Your BNB are free to use, your spot wallet, you can, uh, the tokens you can sell when the actual trading opens. So that will be after some time. So if you see over here, sorry, if you see over here after the fourth step, you could see that in this particular TKO, that's the Toko Crypto, a huge amount of 10 million BNB was committed. So this was the hype. This was the hype of this particular IEO and around 200,000 participants which was there. So obviously with such a huge uh, committed BNB, the amount of token allocation per user would obviously be less. So as I had mentioned to you, I had committed one BNB but based on this calculation, the number of uh, tokens which was there, what I was allocated ultimately was just seven TKO tokens. Yes, you heard me right. I just got seven TKO and just for information uh, at this period, one BNB was equal to 400, uh, approximately 400 US dollars. So that means even after keeping around 400 US dollars, into my Binance account for seven days period. I got an allocation. Now this is might not happen for each and every one. It all depends on the tokens which are here. Here there was a huge, uh, huge subscription around 10 million BNB was communicated. I mean, sorry, uh, committed over here. So final allocation was seven. So as you know that I had shown you the token price was 10 cents over here. You can see 10 cents. So from my account, seven into 10 cents, that's not even uh, less than a dollar, around uh, hardly 80 cents were uh, deducted in all. And my rest of the BNB was transferred. So this is the step, basically you can see the subscription period, the holding period, uh, wherein your snapshots are taken, the subscription period, wherein uh, you can uh, say, what amount of BNB 
you are committing the calculation period wherein Binance would calculate the total BNB commitments and factor in your uh, contribute your uh, committed uh, quantity and finally is the allocation. So when it went and hit the exchanges, you see the price was 0.1 and uh, this is TKO USDT trailing. You see it made a all time high close to $10. So that's nearly 100x. But let me tell you, this is one single candle. If you see very rarely uh, no, on the first candle, you can uh, it's possible to exit. So average most people would have exited somewhere here around uh, three and a half dollars so still that is close to 35 x now the fact that it is just seven tokens you know even if i sell it let's try and uh, see and sell it even if i try to sell my, all my tokens over here at the current price 3.4 i would be earning around 24 dollars yes it's uh, might look very less but imagine if i had a huge allocation that would be very high and as I mentioned I have not even uh, uh, it didn't even cost me uh, even one dollar so when it has gone 3.4 dollar that's nearly around uh, 4x the amount which is there over here so basically you can see this is how the IDO IEO basically is the initial exchange offer when it hits the exchange uh, ICOs uh, was a uh, trend in 2017. Now we had the uh, IDO basically. If for those who have not known, it's an initial uh, DX offer that's decentralized exchange, which is there. So this is how it would offer. So I have not sold it, you know, just seven uh, TQOs uh, which I have been allocated with. So especially the fact that it is a crypto based uh, token, and as I mentioned, it's a uh, Indonesian exchange and uh, most as we have seen history Wazirx, BNB, take any exchange, all exchange tokens which are there, you know, at some point of time would you give decent return. So there is no point selling for $24. I'm just going to keep it lying over here and uh, maybe probably if I get a good deal, I'm going to exit over here. So. I have explained to you that the uh, Binance uh, requirement, I mean, sorry, the BSC pad requirements, if you want to pass it trade. Today, I have explained to you in detail the Binance Launchpad. Now, if you want to understand where the Launchpad is, if you go to Binance, you can see this is the Launchpad here, oh, menu which is there over here. Here is the Launchpad. When you click over here, Launchpad, you are going to get all these details regarding the Binance Launchpad. Now, as I told you, I didn't make very good profits over here. Of course, you know, because the allocation was very less over here. That's uh, only seven uh, tokens. I still manage around uh, around 24. Uh, yeah. Over here. Uh, I guess I made a calculation wrong. It didn't cost me even a dollar over here. So it's nearly around 20 X uh, 8 point eight was my cost. So eight threes are 24 around 30 X. Sorry. Or is my uh, this thing if I try to sell it over here now as I told you although it is 30x the amount is so small so it didn't make so imagine if I had got an allocation of uh, say even a uh, hundred dollars and uh, I got a 30x it would be close to three thousand dollars and uh, compared to all the platforms I suppose that this would be one of the easiest one because what you need to do is just hold the BNB and BNB has uh, more certain there is a chances of the BNB coin dropping is also very less and uh, as I promised uh, to you at the start of the video immediate next video what will be following this would be that in spite of missing an IDO or a whitelist there is a huge huge opportunity for you to still make a decent amount of money now i am going to share with you in the next video how i made around 300 dollars on the same idea without getting as you can see i didn't even get a location worth one dollar but i still managed to make 300 usd and i'm going to share with you in the next video how you can do the same without getting the whitelist without you making to the IDO during launch. So make sure 
that you are subscribed to my youtube channel and make sure you are also into the telegram groups so that you can get all these alerts my apologies for a longer video but uh, the point is i wanted to explain to you in detail how this whole thing works out so for all this effort uh, as i always say you know i think i deserve and this video deserves a lot of likes and of course a lot of shares so that more and more people can start learning how to make legit and decent amount of money finally if after all this explanation if there is something which is still not clear please do let me know in the comment section and i would be more than glad to sort it out for you so until the next video take care and be safe